Hey guys, it's Daniel. The following is a clip from my interview with Soundgarden producer Michael Beinhorn. If you want to see the full interview, it's linked below. Chris has gone on record saying that he was surprised that that song did as well as it did. And it actually, to a degree, kind of bummed him out that that was the biggest song on the record because he felt that there were other songs that were of a higher caliber, so to speak. It's funny to hear you say that now, actually, because I think that he re he recognized the kind of power that that song had. That I think Chris was a lot more aware, at least my experience of him, he was a lot more aware of the the, the effect of the music that he wrote. Hmm. And I think he looked at it as kind of like... Um, you know, he had a good he, he had a good stockpile of songs, and he he knew he knew that that song was really was, I mean, for lack of a better word, powerful currency. Hmm. You know, so I never had that experience with him. I mean, I think that he, it, in fact, it was the one song on the record where the he did he did two passes on that, um, two separate days, and he did his first vocal for it. I comped it, and he came back and listened to it, and he just looked at me. He's like sucks we got to do it over you know that's i've never seen a vocalist do that before where they actually listen back to their own work and they're like it's not good enough you know and i i was pretty impressed by that you know so but he he knew that he had to do it again you know he he felt very strongly that it wasn't good enough so he put 110 percent into that one and he was well aware that that was at least in my experience that that was the sh that was actually the showpiece of the record. I mean, the record was great, and it would have been great without it. Mm -hmm. But the fact that that was there, that really, that that kind of sealed the deal on it. No, for sure. So I mean, for someone, you know, you were probably the person that was most excited about that song going into recording it. So the time comes around to record now in studio. How are you feeling? Are you still excited to get this down? Yeah, I mean, I was excited. I was a little nervous because I was like, because I had a, I had a very high expectation of what we were going to live up to. I mean, it was, it was an excited kind of nervous. Like I just wanted to dive into it and make it as great as it could possibly be. And from every step of the way, I, it was, it was never a letdown. Like when Matt started playing the song, I was like, oh my goodness, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, he did three passes of the song. And I think the second or third take he did, he played this extraordinary drum fill, which of course is on. It's it it comes in right before the the, the final chorus of the that boom 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 like that. And you know, I was like, oh, that's that's it. That's incredible. You know, we put the bass on it. Sounds great. You know, and then um, we started. We we did the guitar. It sounded great. Like every step of the way, it was just magical. Yeah. You know, it just kept getting better and better and better and better. And obviously my intent was to make sure that whatever we had was out, far outstripped the demo. Um, I mean, the demo is actually really good. You can find it on YouTube, mm -hmm. in fact. But we, we definitely wound up smoking the demo pretty well. So I was happy about that. That's 